Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Oh, Let's go. thank our performer this evening, Roland. Uh, so, uh, good evening. I'm Kai Rizdahl, and this is Marketplace. Marketplace. How does he do that, that second A? Why does he do that? Why does he make that sound? With his mouth that way? What is he doing? With his linguistic jujitsu. With that long A in the second part of that word. I've heard him pronounce long A's. He doesn't always pronounce them that way. Marketplace. <laughs> Regardless, this isn't actually Marketplace. My name is actually Grant Mudge, and this is the Midnight Suggestion. <laughs> or, the Midnight Digestion of Milk and Cookies, as we like to call it, around these parts, around this time of the year. <laughs> oh wait, that reminds me. Alright, now that I've donned my gay apparel, let's start rounding gone virgin comedic talent. Your first performer tonight puts the Doug Yule in your Yuletide treasure. Let's give it up for Brian Bray! Hey, hey guys, how y'all doing? How am I doing? I don't know. But this is an impression of how sad I get sometimes. I'm just doing good. I smell pretty good right now because my, my stepmom's got some bomb body wash. This stuff's great. It smells like cherries. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, have y'all ever been making out with a girl and you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, you like that? And she's standing over there and she's like, Brian, what are you doing? And you're just like, why does your voice sound like mine? You know, I can stop busting on my sex acts. Imagination. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really like getting into a physical relationship that quick. Uh, I'd much rather get into a metaphysical relationship where we merge consciousness and only experience collective thought. <laughs> hey, Dave. <laughs> uh, I did just finish writing my metaphysical erotica novel. It's called The Tibetan Book of Some Head. <laughs> All right, this next one's kind of gross, but I found myself saying this in a real conversation the other day. That I'd rather be a cum dumpster. Th oh wait, no. I'd rather be a cum dumpster than dumpster cum. I'm not <laughs> sure why I told that to anybody. <laughs> but I got me thinking as to what dumpster cum really is. Is it just man's jizz in a dumpster, or is it how dumpsters reproduce? And rats are like the hummingbirds of trash can reproduction. <laughs> I don't know. Those are some of my thoughts. Those are some of them. <laughs> oh yeah. So, got a little inside story from the music industry, you know, up there in Chicago. I was ghostwriting for Watch the Throne, uh, Kanye West to Jay-Z's album. And I bet you guys were wondering why they named that album that. And the thing is, Kanye, when he's producing those beats, he likes to sit on a throne and eat real bad food. And one day he was like, Jay, I gotta take a shit. Can you watch the throne? And they looked at each other and they were like... And I was like, guys, we should name the album that. And then they thanked me in the Grammys awards. <laughs> the grandmas. The grandmas <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I was gonna talk about next. So guys, my mom's a heroin addict. Give it up. <laughs> Woo! Give it up. That's what I used to always tell her. <laughs> she never listened. <laughs> Uh, but it's alright. Uh, she's been in prison for like eight years, so I don't think she could really do a lot of heroin there. Uh, she gets out in like three weeks, which would be cool. Give it up. Woo! Uh, but uh, before I moved to Chicago, I went to visit her in jail, and she actually came out of the closet to me, which I don't really care that much about. I kind of figured it. Her hair's shorter than mine. I don't even have any hair. <laughs> But she was describing her girlfriend to me, and she was like, she's real sweet, she's got a pretty face, and a fat ass. 
I was like, damn, my mom likes the same asses as me. It's like, finally something we can talk about. It's like, I never really got into it, heroin or anything. Like, bad ass is something I could get behind. Like, the sex with it. Uh, yeah, it was great growing up. Mom's a real smack rabbit. <laughs> you guys should laugh harder at that. I love that. Um, but she used to give me haircuts as a kid because she took a class one time. And uh, she was giving me a buzz cut and the clippers broke like halfway through. So I had like no hair here but like a whole bunch back here. I looked like fucking Anthony Hopkins. I was honored. And there's been the majority of movies on IMDb. <laughs> Give it up for Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> Dude's been doing a solid job his whole life. But he's got some competition, because Lincoln's getting pretty big these days, guys. He had two movies this year. How many did you have, Josh Bluebaugh? None. Yeah. <laughs> Every week is way better than, I don't know. Uh, he had one movie, it was just Killing Vampires. And I was talking a lot of smack about it before I saw it, and I saw it, it was pretty good. So I take back all that. You guys weren't there for that, so y'all don't know what I said. You'll never know. The other one's just called Lincoln, though. I think that's nice, because that's just his last name. I'd like a movie that's just called my last name, and it's called Man, but every time you say it, you have to say, Man, it's just me smiling at a bunch of places. Shit. Austria! This man goes to Austria. It's a good movie. I had to do a research project in the eighth grade! on Abraham Lincoln, and I found this really stupid quote for a president that got assassinated to say. It was, the ballot is stronger than the bullet. And I was just, did he say that before or after he got shot with a, with a bullet? If he got shot with a ballot, somebody's pretty crafty at making a homemade ballot gun. Don't ask me how to make one. Rubber bands or something. <laughs> Speaking of dead presidents, uh, this is an impression of JFK. Uh, addressing horse cruelty at the White House. <laughs> I understand the American people are deeply concerned about these accusations of horse cruelty in the White House. And I want you to know that this concerns me as well. It's a hard life being a horse. I was a horse once. And then, and then I stopped tripping shrooms and didn't write any more of that book. <laughs> um, but I'm Brian man. You guys have been great. And I like all of you. <laughs> now you did. Woo! Yeah, George! Honorable return, Brian! Woo! Welcome to the Serious Hall up there, buddy.